Here's a rather quick tip. We want to create some focus, or better yet, an out of focus effect. In order to do this, we need to have the background a bit blurry and the foreground sharp. I'm going over very lightly with my background colors, and I'm also going over the edges of my underlying drawing. This created, creates a bit of an atmospheric um, feel to it. You know, it's fake. And that's okay, that's what we want. Putting here just some more colors on it, later on I will wipe them out as well, to make it very thin, that background. Later on you can always decide to go over it again with thicker layers of paint, of course. As mentioned earlier on, we need to make a focus on the foreground. So we want to have also detail in here. Uh, we don't, we cannot have a fully blurry uh, painting here. We need to have some details. And of course, uh, we have this bright, shiny wrapper material, which is wonderful. So we're getting that in there. To add even more detail, we can scratch in the paint as well. You know, it's always about adding paint, but also about deleting paint to create the effects you want. So here I'm just making like this little cartilage to, uh, edge just by picking in with a, with a meat stick. Fine detail and the underlaying color comes forward again. Do notice how with this simple trick you already create a quite realistic feeling with actually minimum effort because if you would have to paint all this with a brush it would be painstakingly to do so. For this part of the wrapper, it's also slightly out of focus, but not too much. We can have quite a bit of detail in there still. And uh, just keep in mind that you want to have a bit soft edges to not draw the eye to that area. When we're moving on to the wrapper in the background, there's a quite dominant color on there, red. So that is actually quite tricky. So I'm also going over very thinly. And basically what you get is that you have a very thin layer which you can see through slightly so you can also see the underlying background color still and the underpainting slowly but surely i will add more and more paint to it to a level that i'm uh, happy with but keep in mind to be careful not to put it on too thick there or too vibrant because it's in the background you don't want to focus on it so take it easy there now we're at a slightly intimidating part of the painting because we have this chocolate in the wrapper and we need to create depth. Yet we also need to create the shine of the wrapper going over that depth. Now you can do so of course by working in layers with acrylic, it dries quickly. But in this case I'm painting a la prima. So one layer paint only. So I need to be very careful in putting on not too much paint and going over it ever so slightly. Here you can note as well, when you're painting very softly or with very thin paint layers, you can also easily just use your brush to make it lighter. See that? That's fun to play around with. The wrapper in the background does need to have a bit more of detail in there and of course a bit more work. So also here putting on the paint lightly and just spreading it out basically. And creating that blurry effect. And it's okay to have it at some parts a bit thicker and other other parts a bit more thin. Because it gives also depth and illusion to the fact that it's a wrapper with various shapes going on there. Don't overthink it, don't look at every individual little line, just keep it simple. Then there's another little tip. For creating lines like this, I just basically stamp it. I dab my paintbrush in the length 
it's a very easy way to get those lines in. Don't use a fine brush. Uh, once again, keep it simple, and especially with smaller studies, and uh, enjoy the process. And all that remains basically is putting in details, fine tuning where you want. Putting in those small details, as you can see I'm using a smaller brush here. And for the uh, details like the creamy textures, I use more paint, you know, put it on there thickly. For the highlights also, use a bit more paint, you want it to really pop. So the foreground, we want to have sharp, mm, with, with thick colors, we want to have it pop. The background can all be a bit blurry and out of focus. This is the final piece, and if you want, you can paint it as well. The reference picture is over on my Instagram page, as it's part of the Food Paint Challenge, which I host every week, with new reference pictures for you to use and paint upon. Happy painting! And of course, a like and subscribe would be highly appreciated. Thank you.